Let's get started with 10 reasons why you may not like a Capricorn. Number one, you don't like your dad, or you don't know your dad, or you have a love-hate relationship with your dad. You see, Capricorn is father energy. Capricorn is serious. Capricorn is the father of the Zodiac. So one thing a Capricorn is going to do when you're in relationship with them is trigger daddy issues. It's unavoidable. Number two, you do not like winning. Some of us don't like winning. Some of us are not into competition. Some of us are not into walking away with the prize. Some of us don't like prizes. And some of us live for the win. Capricorn likes winning. This is why Capricorn is the hardest working zodiac sign in astrology. Because losing for Capricorn is just not an option. What do you mean? So you just live to lose? You just you just like losing? Capricorn can never. Number three, you are childish. You are immature or you really like drama. As the father of the Zodiac, Capricorn is very serious. Capricorn is all about productive activities. If you do not like to be serious about your life, if you do not know where your life is headed, if you do not know what you want out of life or how to get it, if you do not see the connection between the actions that you're taking and how they lend to success or take you away from success, if you have no ability whatsoever to be in your body while also observing how you're living your life, then Capricorn is not for you. Because as the father of the Zodiac, Capricorn is around the developmental age of a 60 to 70 year old. One thing they don't have time for is immaturity. Saturn, the ruling planet of Capricorn, is serious. It's slow moving. It's a karmic planet. It's all about responsibility. And Saturn is very punishing. So Capricorn is not allowed to get away with behavior that is messy and unproductive. Do you remember R. Kelly? Yeah, he's a Capricorn. Number four, if you like to play manipulative games, then Capricorn is not for you, okay? Because Capricorn will not be manipulated. Capricorn is called the goat because they are stubborn. Stubborn extremely stubborn. They're going to do what they want to do in the end. And because they're so much older than the rest of the Zodiac, they can see through everybody's bullshit like that. The difference is they don't talk about it. <laughs> they don't say anything. They pretend to not see it. Just because they don't say anything doesn't mean they don't read you. Number five, you might not like a Capricorn because they look good, they dress good, they smell good. They're classy people who carry themselves with an air of regal energy. Can you feel that, baby? Capricorn is for kings and queens. They're not for any and everybody. They never look like what they've been through, and that pisses people off. <laughs> Capricorn rules the teeth and the skeletal system in astrology. Both those things are very hard. So you trying to break down a Capricorn? <laughs> Stay mad, haters. <laughs> Number six, you may not like a Capricorn because they mind their business. They mind their business. They stay out of your business. They don't care what you have going on because you know what? They're worried about what they have going on. Unlike most of the Zodiac, Capricorn came here with a mission that they're very clear about. It's to leave the world better than they found it. So if the energy you're bringing is not constructive, Capricorn doesn't have time for it. And people don't know what they want out of life. They don't know what they're doing with their lives when they're unhappy with their lives. Low vibrational energies can't find nothing better to do but to go around stealing energy but trying to drag you in their drama. The one zodiac sign you can never drag in your drama is Capricorn because you know what? I ain't got time for it. Number seven, you love lying. Some of you love to lie. Some of you lie so much you don't even know the truth from a lie. Some of you lie so much you can't even tell when the truth is hitting your ears and when that lie is hitting your ears. You lie so much that you start to believe your own lies. When you get around a Capricorn, they're going to rip that veil off your face in the most lethal way you ever imagined. They'll have you questioning your whole entire existence. If there's one thing a Capricorn is going to give you is that truth. Okay, you may like it, you may not like it, they don't care. Because the truth is what? 
It's from God. God is the truth and the light. One thing a Capricorn knows is God is to be feared. And I don't mean feared like God is not on my side. I mean, don't fuck around with God if you don't want no problems, okay? Capricorn, being very close to Sagittarius, has already learned that God is the truth. This is why Sagittarius is the truth teller of the Zodiac. So a lying ass Sagittarius is somebody you need to run away from real fast. Because by the time Sagittarius has transformed into Capricorn, they know lying is just not an option. So if you can't take the brutal and honest truth, do not come around a Capricorn. This is why Capricorn is respectful. This is why they treat people, you know, fairly. This is why they have manners. But if you're going to bring you know, activities around Capricorn that does not match their vibration, their queen and king energy, yeah, they're not going to be with it. So that means you're not going to like them and they're fine with it. Number eight, if you don't like sex, if you aren't good at sex or you don't enjoy sex, then yeah, you're not going to like a Capricorn. Because if you want to be in a romantic relationship with Capricorn, you have to bring your sex game up. It's important to Capricorn. Capricorn is a highly physical zodiac sign and they need to have sex regularly. Ideally, once a day, preferably multiple times a day, at the very low level, every other day. If that kind of activity is not in your vocabulary, a Capricorn is not for you. Number nine, a Capricorn always knows their worth. Capricorn is all about value. Capricorn being the earth sign that they are, they're all about things that are valuable. So if the energy that you're bringing Capricorn is not a value, if the energy that you're giving them is not actually adding anything that is quality to their lives, and if you're trying to debase them to a lower level than what they actually are, they will cut you off and eliminate you from their reality and never look back because they don't fuck around with trash. You and that trashy energy and those trashy habits and these immature and petty and disgusting and gross ways of existing can all stay together in that corner where Capricorn will not be. Bye-bye and don't come back. Good riddance. And number 10. This is the number 10 reason why you may not like a Capricorn because they're always going to have the last word, baby. Capricorn is always going to have the last word because in the end, they were right. Because <laughs> they can see through your bullshit, okay? Capricorn is always going to have the last word. If they're low vibrational and they choose to enact revenge upon you for trying to cross them, best believe it's going to be done in the most classy and fashionable way imaginable. You won't see it coming. It's going to smell and look just as good as every Capricorn I've ever known. Classy revenge is what Capricorn does. It's better than what you expected because it doesn't look like revenge. So it stings even more. If they're a high vibrational Capricorn, which is what I hope for all of you Capricorns out there, because you don't need to do revenge when you come from the planet of a karma. Being ruled by Saturn, if you cross a Capricorn who is a community builder, who gives you good energy, that gives you good love, that gives you honesty, that gives you integrity, and that gives you their real heart, and you take that and you act like it's trash, be prepared for your life to go up in flames because you deserve it, baby. You deserve it. This is These are the seeds that you are sowing. So these are the fruit of your labor. So enjoy. Here are some things to never, ever say to a Capricorn. Before we get started, hi, my name is Natalie. I offer private astrology readings, link in bio to schedule your appointment. You can also follow me on social media. I'm on Twitter instagram and you can watch all of my videos on youtube at intuitive healing now on to capricorn as you know capricorn is ruled by saturn saturn in astrology is all about rules regulations karma restrictions and responsibility sounds like a lot of fun doesn't it <laughs> saturn is the 10th zodiac sign in astrology and it also rules the 10th house which is the house of public image as well as career. Before I tell you the things that Capricorn hates, I want you to first know what Capricorn is. So let's go over some basic characteristics real quick. Capricorn, because they're ruled by Saturn, is all about hard work, determination, achievement, ambition, and success. Capricorn is a CEO of the Zodiac because Capricorn is the ultimate manager. Capricorn approaches their entire life with a business plan. Capricorn 
always has a plan for everything and their whole life is managed as if there were a business. Capricorn likes to win. Because of this, Capricorn likes to go the extra mile. They don't mind putting in the extra work that other people don't want to put in or other people think is disgusting or other people think it's a waste of time. They don't mind going that extra mile because they know it's going to set them apart from the competition because Capricorn is highly competitive. They don't just want to be good at it. They want to be great at it, if not the best at it. Capricorn fundamentally believes that whatever you put your effort in is worth that effort. So as a result of that, you should give it your very best try. And it's something that they're willing to live and die by. It's kind of like the Bible of Capricorn. Being an earth sign, naturally they are practical, they're stable, um, they know how to put one foot in front of the other. They know how to slowly work towards a goal. They're realistic. They don't get overly excited. They're very focused on their goals. They don't care how long it takes or what the road ahead has. That is all that their attention is on. Just the sweet taste of victory after all of that effort. Capricorn is serious. They're mature. They're traditional. And they have a sharp instinct with an amazing understanding of time. Capricorn always senses when things are about to transpire and they always move in harmony with time. So that's another thing that, you know, earth signs typically have, but with Capricorn, it's because of Saturn, they have a greater grasp on time than all of astrology. As you know, Saturn is about restrictions. So Capricorn is very serious about their time. So when something is not worth their time, they already know it before they begin it. Capricorn is nothing if not into the details. Capricorn is all about the minutia of the task. They're all about what's real. They're not interested in the fluff. You know, they don't want that beautiful story. They want to see the ugliness. They want to see what's real. They want to know what's raw because that's where the truth is. By nature, being ruled by Saturn and being really further away from the sun, Capricorn tends to be a bit on the depressive side. They're very morose. Um, they can be overthinkers because of their, like, their desire to overachieve and their lack of patience with themselves. Capricorn's anthem is literally never give up. No matter what, you never give up. Capricorn is going to see it through all the way to the end. Once they get focused on something, that is literally the only thing that exists. Now onto the things that Capricorn doesn't like to hear from other people. Number one, people often think that Capricorn is emotionally unavailable. It's not that, it's that they don't know you, so they're watching you, or they've seen you and they've decided they don't like you. Again, Capricorn has a great grasp on time, so they're the least likely zodiac sign to give time to anything that they don't value. Capricorn hates it when they're not valued for their effort because out of everybody they're going to be the one that works the most because they're naturally bred for working so whenever people start taking their efforts for granted and do not appreciate their efforts that really pisses them off capricorn hates it when you waste their time this is why they often do not waste your time because time is something they really value so naturally capricorn hates it when you invite them in drama because what does drama accomplish nothing of value, and things that are not valuable, Capricorn is not interested in. Virgo often gets a bad rap for being very critical and negative and a perfectionist, but I think the true earth sign that does that the most, that flies under the radar, is Capricorn. And I think the only reason for that is because Capricorn is more emotionally controlled, so they appear to be more mature. But just like Virgo, Capricorn is very easily annoyed. They have a lot of hangups. They have a lot of things they don't like about people. They hardly ever like a lot of people, to be honest. And the main reason for that is because they are very big on being a good person. And they know a lot of people are not. And a lot of people like to use like different mechanisms to appear to be a certain way. And Capricorn really likes what's truthful. And because of that, they tend to be very selective about the experiences they want to have with other people. They don't like it when you take their kindness for weakness because they're actually quite strong, but they're very sensitive. So if they care about you and you don't appreciate it, they definitely don't like it. They also dislike it when people don't understand that they're smarter than they look. Capricorn is usually very like laid back. 
So people underestimate them often and they don't realize how sharp they are because they hardly ever say much. Um, so when people underestimate that Capricorn has already peeped their BS and has already figured it all out, um, it really irritates them because they don't know how you could have missed that they've already figured you out. So on that same note, Capricorn really hates a liar because they're very straightforward, no BS, raw deal. They don't, they don't need any fluff. Just give me the facts and nothing but the, card, the hard cold facts. That's all I care about. So whenever people start manipulating facts and, and shooting out information that is incorrect and they're purposely trying to confuse Capricorn, oh, that really makes them mad. And there are two reasons for that. Number one, you're wasting their time because if they're not functioning in reality, how are they able to have an edge in a competition? And then number two, they themselves do not mince words ever. So you mincing words with them and twisting facts, they find it to be intellectually offensive. They don't like it when people think they're shy or not friendly because again, they're introverted, they're laid back, they're conservative, um, their, their outlook is gonna be more inward. You know, they're traditional. So they're not gonna be like out on the limb trying new things. They're gonna be like laid back in the cut just watching you. Another thing Capricorn hates is when you criticize the way they're doing things or they've done something without you offering a solution. Because their whole thing is this. If you can do it better, then you do it. You do it. That's less work for me. But if you can't do it better, what is you criticizing their approach is going to accomplish? Again, they're very strict about their time. So this seems like a time waster. They don't like it when people try to tell them what to do because Capricorn is the CEO of the Zodiac. They're natural boss. They don't follow orders. And they don't follow orders, especially from people less competent than them because competence is very important to a Capricorn. Facts are very important to a Capricorn. Capricorn doesn't like it when people have no logic whatsoever and they do things that do not make sense. They particularly do not like it when people put feelings over facts, because as far as they're concerned, the feelings that you're having are valid, but they don't change the facts and the facts still remain. And you trying to invalidate the facts because of your feelings to them seems foolish. They don't like being called sarcastic, even though their humor is totally sarcastic, because the way they see it is like, how is it mean if it's the truth? Capricorn also hates it when you criticize how hard they work. The way they see it, you should appreciate their hard work and the fruit of their labor, as opposed to trying to make them into something that they're not. They're always going to be obsessed with work. They hate it when you lie to them, when you don't believe them, and when you're somebody who makes a lot of excuses. If there's one thing a Capricorn hates, it's excuses because excuses and results do not go in the same lane. And their choice is always to get results. So excuses are useless. They don't like immaturity, chaos, laziness, moochers, flaky people, people who gossip, people who are not serious about their lives or just like wasting their life away. Like they're always gonna be young. They don't like being called boring because the truth is they don't trust you and they don't know you. So of course they don't wanna show you anything. Capricorn moves slow, Capricorn is often rigid, but Capricorn does not like to be criticized because they're very sensitive. But the biggest thing Capricorn does not like to hear is that they can't do it because in fact, that motivates them to do it and do it better than you thought. How are you feeling? Are you enjoying the content so far? If so, I've got more great content for you. My main YouTube channel is called at Intuitive Healing. There I teach general information about astrology. If you wish to use the secrets embedded in your astrology natal chart to manifest the life of your dream, you want to follow my astrology weekly podcast. You can listen to it on Spotify. I produce weekly episodes. It also has a corresponding YouTube channel called at astrology weekly podcast that you can follow and make sure to turn on the notification bell. If you want some hands on support with manifestation, you can join my manifestation group on Patreon. It is a free group, however, some of the posts are only for paid members. If you wish to incorporate healing crystals into your manifestation process, you can go to styledunder.com to shop your favorite sustainable fashion accessories and healing crystals. And lastly, remember to follow us on social media at Intuitive Healing on Instagram, X, TikTok, and Threads, and on Facebook, 
we are at styled under so stop by subscribe follow like comment share and be social thanks for watching now on to our next segment up next, let's check out some valuable life advice from one of my favorite Capricorns, Mr. LeBron James. Only my super competitive zodiac signs are going to understand this, particularly Capricorn. 2024 is the year of Capricorn. In fact, astrologically speaking, 2024 is a year of abundance. It's a year of success. It's a year of ambition. It's a year of elevation, prosperity, and wealth, okay? Now, if you were to look at Chinese astrology or numerology, what you will find is that this year is corresponds to the number eight in numerology. And the number eight in numerology is exactly about that. Love, power, wealth, prosperity, and abundance. So for many of you, your manifestations are gonna be coming true this year. Now, since 2024 is the year of Capricorn, which by the way, the number eight in astrology corresponds to Saturn. Saturn is the ruler of Capricorn and the co-ruler of Aquarius. So if you're Aquarius and Capricorn, this year is a winning year for you on so many levels. For those of you who don't understand what winning is about, I'm going to read to you a book written by a winner a fellow Capricorn by the name of LeBron James. And there are so many tidbits in this book about what winning really looks like from somebody that's ruled at Saturn to the rest of you. These are going to be lessons from Saturn on how to win 2024. Before I get started, I want to remind you that I'm having a giveaway all month long to participate. All you have to do is donate a dollar so the Trevor Project, a lucky winner is gonna be selected. All the details are right here. Now on to the winner that we know as LeBron James and Lessons from Saturn. The title of this book is I Promise, illustrated by New York Times best illustrator, Nina Mata. We are family. I promise to work hard and do what's right to be a leader in this game of life. I promise to go to school and read as much as I can to follow the rules and respect the game plan. I promise to run full court and show up each time and get right back up when I fall down and let my magic shine. I promise to be open and try new things and enjoy the happy that change can bring. I promise to wear a big smile and use kindness when I speak, to remain strong yet humble with every win and defeat. I promise to ask for help whenever I need it, to reach for my star even when I can't see it. I promise to ask questions and find answers. To believe in next time and second chances. I promise to use my voice and stand up for what's right. And when things get tough, to keep up the fight. I promise to stand tall and rise up and give all that I've got. To throw the alley-oop and uplift others on the spot. I promise to respect my elders and peers the same. To leave new places better than I came. I promise to stay true, keep my head up, and never give up, no matter what. I promise to dream big and love bigger, to be a team player and a winner. I promise to cross bridges and break down walls, to rise with the sun and learn from the falls. I promise to be courageous, to be free, to strive for greatness. I promise to be me. And in the back, 
there is a promise. The I Promise School was inspired by the big dreams of kids in my hometown and around the world. It is a place committed to helping them and their families reach their full potential. At the start of every school year and repeated each morning, all students make a set of promises to themselves, just like those in this book. Setting goals, working hard, and holding yourself accountable are the first steps to success. What about you? What are some promises that you're making for yourself for 2024? What are some promises with regards to successes that you've been wanting to achieve, that you've been wanting to accomplish this year? Do you have a plan in place to make that happen? If so, have you figured out how to assess your progress as you go? It's nice to have a big idea about what we want to accomplish, but it's even better to keep our promises to ourselves because ultimately we are the only ones who live with ourselves. Others may forget that we ever said we're going to do such and such thing, but guess who's always going to remember? We certainly do not want to train ourselves to not believe in ourselves. So keeping our promises to ourselves is how we prove to ourselves that we love ourselves and that we think we're deserving and that we fundamentally believe that we're worthy of success, of greatness, of love, of joy, and of abundance. What do you think? Leave your comments in the box below. Now, wasn't that a lot of fun? On to our last segment, let's talk about Pluto in Capricorn and the children that are being shaped by this Capricorn energy. I love all of the earth signs, but Capricorn is just on a whole nother level. And it's the realest of them all. Capricorn is down to earth. It is grounded. It is hardworking. It is sincere. And it's not just concerned about itself. It's concerned about its community. Now back to my favorite thing about Capricorn. You know what it is? It's the no BS meter. That thing is sharp. That thing does not miss a thing. This is why they always look like this. Capricorn is so unfazed and unbothered and not impressed with life. I love it. It's like they're calm no matter what. Is it a hurricane? Is it a birthday? Is it a funeral? Because you know what? Life is gonna life. This is what Capricorn knows for sure. So why am I gonna get all high and low about it? It is what it is at the end of the day. I just gotta get through this moment. That's one thing that Capricorn and Sagittarius have in common. They both have a very low tolerance for BS, although Sagittarius is a lot more excited. When people talk about Gen Z and how wild they are, as an astrologer, I can't help but think you guys must not know about Generation Alpha because these are the true savages of the Zodiac. It's not Sag, it's Capricorn. You may or may not know this, but Gen Alpha is ruled by the Zodiac sign Capricorn. And let me tell you, these babies have already established themselves as the leaders in their homes. A lot of these are quarantine babies. They do not mess around. Now, let me tell you how these babies are responding to their adult parents when their adults are having a breakdown. And for those of you who don't have kids, let me tell you, those of us millennials have learned that the trauma that our parents gave us wasn't necessarily all healthy. So many of us, instead of taking out our anger on our babies and traumatizing them with our trauma, we decided to take our big behinds to therapy to deal with our trauma so that we don't continue this kind of like family generational dumping of the trauma to the to the next babies, okay? So instead of whooping our kids to work out our frustrations about the world, we cry in the therapist's office and we allow our babies to have feelings. And because of this, our babies are actually talking to us and they're talking to us with that boss energy that Capricorn has. Let me tell you some quotes that I saw here on TikTok of a video of a mom talking about gentle parenting and how some of these moms came behind her to talk about how their babies are talking to them because of gentle parenting. An eight-year-old told his mom, I just feel concerned that I may not be emotionally or mentally able to, end, to handle school today. A three-year-old told its parents, when we are upset, we take deep breaths. Look at Capricorn leading the way. This is what you do when you have this problem. Capricorn is all about structure and routine. There's a protocol for everything, a plan A all the way to Z. What we're not gonna do is lose our cool and lose our mind. What good is that? What do we accomplish with that? Nothing. Another three-year-old told their mom to breathe 
and walk away if they need a moment. A five-year-old asks their mom, mom, can you not yell at me? A daughter told her mom, mom, my social battery is dead. Another kid saw their mom spilling beans all over their pants and said, that's okay, mommy, we'll just change. A six-year-old told their parent, well, have you considered I'm dysregulated at the moment and cannot control my emotions? A six-year-old. When I tell you Capricorn is an adult when they're a child, this is what I mean. Another three-year-old, when their mom gets frustrated, says to the mom, it's okay, mommy, we can do hard things. Listen to that. We can do hard things. Another five-year-old told their mom, I feel like you talk right through me sometimes. Could you just slow down and listen to me a little bit more? Another kid said to their parent, you're talking to me too aggressively because you're upset about another thing. Look at that level of insight. Another mom lost her cool once and her daughter said to her, you're really yelling at me so loudly. I thought we were friends and we talked about our problems. A six-year-old said to their parents, can you speak to me respectfully? One thing Capricorn does not play about is their respect, okay? They give it to you. They expect it back. If you do not know how to give it back, you're going to have some problems. A five-year-old a five-year-old told a five-year-old told his mom after tantrum and screaming fit, I just have so many emotions right now and I just feel so sad and lonely. These are our future leaders, people that are able to not only understand their emotions, but others' emotions as well. Emotionally intelligent children are bound to be successful in life because they can read a freaking room. A 13-year-old told her mom, I don't have the energy to process this right now. Emotional boundaries, what do you know about that? And my last example is a kid that came to her mom and said to her, I think you're having some pretty big feelings today. I want us to talk about it. First of all, a big shout out to all these parents that are modeling healthy emotional intelligence to their kids, that are encouraging their kids to express their emotions and to be humans and to be emotionally vulnerable. That is one shortcoming that Capricorn certainly has. But one thing Capricorn also always has is the ability to sense other people's intentions and characters and true emotions. Although Capricorn keeps their emotions close to their chest, they can always read through everyone else's. Just like their sister sign Cancer, they're just a lot less vocal about it. I love how steady you guys are. I love how honest and raw and real you are. And I love that you're never afraid to be true to who you are, no matter the circumstances. I'm so excited about Gen Alpha because of you, because I know these babies are literally going to change the world, which is what Capricorn was sent here to do, to basically destabilize the current structure by working within it to improve it, to make the world a better place. What about you? Do you have Capricorn at the sun, moon, or rising, or do you have it anywhere else in your big six? Do you know anyone who's a Capricorn? What do you love most about astrology, zodiac sign Capricorn? I have so many things <laughs> that I adore about Capricorn, being a Capricorn stellium myself, especially as a Capricorn moon, I know exactly what it feels like to be a Capricorn. When you have a zodiac sign at the moon placement, you're going to be more inclined to emotionally vibrate at that frequency. So I feel more like a Capricorn than a Sagittarius, even though I am a Sagittarius sun. I'm going to be making more videos about Capricorn during Capricorn season, but I wanted to take a moment to stop by and say, I love you. I admire you. You inspire me. I love how hardworking you are, how much perseverance you, you have, and how humble you are despite how cutthroat and vicious you can be, how you just play it so cool and so nice and get along with everybody until, of course, people don't appreciate that side. Then you got to switch it up for them, you know, make it a little spicy, a little razzle dazzle, you know, shake that earth, you know, let the ancestors come out just to teach them a thing or two. For that, you will always have my heart. Love y'all. Thanks so much for watching. Leave your comments.